don't know about you guys, but today I feel like I need five gallons of coffee. I am just frazzled. I feel like I have a lot of things going on. I can't even focus right now. So I'm just like on my third coffee trying to survive out in these streets. But I do have to say, I think my day is getting a little bit better because I did swing by the mail room five minutes ago and I got a sweet package from my friends over at Ana Luisa. And as soon as I opened up this box, like I think I was meant to open this today because the message just reminded me to be mindful and grateful for this moment of just being alive. It says life has beautiful moments and this is one of them. So shout out to Ana Luisa for the positive energy today. I also wanna thank them for sponsoring this part of today's vlog. I was so excited to see them reach out to me. I'm not new to them in the sense that I've heard about them before just by watching some of my favorite vloggers here on YouTube and of course Instagrammers that I follow over on IG. So I got to pick out some fun pieces so I'm going to show you guys those in the video today and just talk a little bit about the brand. I really like the message that they stand by. I didn't even know that it takes like 20 tons of mining just to get one ring of gold. That is crazy. They actually use 100% recycled gold with their jewelry pieces. Plus, they have a bomb Black Friday sale going on. The more you shop, the more you save, which is awesome. So definitely check out these items. I'm going to link them down below. I need to put this coffee down for a second because I'm just like, mm, I don't know what to do with myself. Ugh. I feel like oftentimes we as consumers get guilted into buying fast jewelry, like things from... Forever 21 that'll turn rusty or will break like this is quality here you guys so I'm really excited about these pieces and the packaging is so cute all of the packaging is also recyclable which is amazing and they come in these cute little suede is this navy or black suede pouches which I'm definitely going to utilize for storage and travel purposes so the first thing that I got ooh. They sent me a whole set. I'm so excited. How sweet. Ah, these are the ones I saw on their Instagram too. I really like their Instagram because they show some fun ways to layer pieces and how to style them just for inspo if you're looking for some fun jewelry to get out of your comfort zone. I want to put these on today for you guys, but I just got nails and it is team impossible to put on necklaces by yourself with nails this big. But the first necklace I got is this cute little pearl. Again, it's made with 100% recycled gold, so I love that. This cute little pendant, which has some dot work on it, and these are meant to be worn together, and then this one as well. Look how shiny that is. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so beautiful, you guys. All right, let's see what else we've got. I'm so excited. Again, the same little pouch. Ooh, I love a good hoop. I like mini hoops as well. I think I'm gonna wear these today. So definitely wanna jazz up my little jogger set. I like the twisted detail on these. You guys have to pick them up. Oh my gosh, they look good attached to me, even better attached to you. Aw. See, the messaging I think is what really got me interested. Like everything is so cute. All about the details and then the last item i got another pair of earrings again with the hoops so these are gold plated and they're not full hoops they are cut off in the back but these would make really beautiful gifts for loved ones in your life again black friday they're having a bomb sale so definitely check that out links down below but also for yourself like i'd rather invest in a few quality items of jewelry at a time that's going to last me that's not going to rust on me that's not going to fall apart or break like i don't want to have cheap jewelry like that and that's why i don't really or haven't really worn jewelry because i just i don't know like i don't want to spend a lot of money on crazy expensive stuff and it's crazy because their products come from the same buyers as Louis Vuitton and Tiffany I'm like what like you're telling me the quality of Louis Vuitton and Tiffany is right here at a better price houseway how I don't know but I think it's crazy and I'm super excited about this oh also I wanted to mention they do have a one year warranty on every single purchase so that just tells you that they stand by the message of the pieces that they offer on the website. So I think that's amazing, that's fantastic. So don't forget to check out Ana Luisa in the description box below. I'm gonna leave the Black Friday details as well in case you guys are interested, you're in the market to get some fun gifts or just pick up some fun goodies for yourself. Definitely check that out. <laughs>
I'm going to go to the gym anyways, take my pre-workout because Lord knows I need it right now. I did just take a shower too because I thought that would just wake me up and the steam would help me feel better, but all I did was make me just feel really clean and fresh. So I'm about to go get sweaty only to shower <laughs> again. Just made a quick dinner post workout got some steak which I meal prepped just fried some potatoes and I steamed some green beans so that's my quick little dinner you guys if you want to see like a meal prep with me vlog for lazy people definitely swipe up I did recently upload a meal prep with me for lazy people so I highly recommend you guys go watch that for some inspiration but I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go I'm a chill. Rise and shine, you guys. We're about to go get this coffee today. Y'all could see my outfit this morning. You'd be like, who let this girl leave the house? But I'm going to the Line Hotel because they have an outfit. So we're gonna get that. I did go to Starbucks this morning and I was like, yo, can I get a latte? They're like, yo, we don't have almond milk. And I was like, uh, you know? So this was like seven dollars. I did tip. Are you supposed to tip? I don't fucking know. Anyways, good morning from Koreatown. I just went into the Alfreds at the Line Hotel, and I just ordered my basic almond milk latte in a large, iced of course. So I paid seventy-five cents for parking, plus a seven-dollar latte. Is that worth it? I don't know. You tell me. All right, I like those doors. So, first of all, Koreatown parking, trash, usually. But today, it was fantastic. And it's nine o'clock on a Saturday, so parking lit, short little walk. I'm hoping this will be my new favorite spot to go. Get coffee at in the morning. It's just really nice just to get up, get out of the house, go treat yourself to a nice, um, latte, you know, seven dollars, but okay. Anyways, um, did I need to get a large? Probably not. They always have like really cute sleeves as well. I think it's just the vibe, the aesthetic. You're definitely paying for a brand when it comes to coffee. So I'm gonna try it out. Yesterday I got the honey vanilla from Earth, and that was way too sweet. It took me quite some time to actually finish that. So I always just like to go back to basics if I'm going to a new coffee shop and I really don't know what to order. I feel like you definitely can't mess up 
an almond milk latte they do have oat milk which is really cool i saw on the menu so if that's your vibe that's great i can't really get with the oat milk train but let's try this latte it's a lot of almond milk but a lot of the espresso is at the bottom so oh my god it's delicious see i just can't do a lot of sweetness Oh my god, it's smooth, it's creamy, you can taste the espresso, she's cute, and they're nice, they complimented my nails, so I would definitely give um, Alfred's a 5 out of 5 star if you're coming to LA and you need a cute little coffee spot. They have a bunch of different locations, Silver Lake, Koreatown, Melrose, um... I think that's it. I don't know. But definitely put that on your list of places to go. I'm going to do a little Instagram to my stories. Thank you so much. I'm going to do my lit song. Comment down below with that one song. You know, like, if you have Tinder, they ask you, what is your anthem? Please tell me what your anthem is in the comments down below. Because I was thinking about this last night. Like, what song really gets me popping like what makes me want to twerk what makes me want to shake something no matter where i am what time it is and it's tell me when to go by e40 listen it could be 7 a.m and i hear that song and i'm like yes let's get this day popping so that is my anthem right now it used to be miss new booty by bubba sparks but i think it's definitely changed so um comment down below with your anthem like you just have to get up and do something whenever you hear that song so i'm gonna make that my little song this morning with my coffee um i feel like it's so fitting tell me when to go also e40 is just a classic my kids will never understand i don't think did i lock my doors okay we did I'm telling y'all y'all keep getting on me about that all right Hit me up on Instagram for all the exclusive posts. I always tag locations and fun spots like the coffee shop from today and sharing all of my music vibes. I'm about to go to the gym. So I'm going to finish this latte and then make my way to the gym. I might actually order this tomorrow <laughs> and get an extra shot in it because I do feel because it is a large. But other than that, best coffee i've had all week what is up you guys oh my gosh i have an appointment today so i put on an outfit that is not workout clothes so i was like let me actually show the dolls what your girl is rocking you guys have seen me wear this two-piece set a lot a million times i love a good two-piece outfit it actually looks like you put time and effort into your style for the day but i got that from misguided and then i just paired it with my yeezys because i'm gonna be running around la i just wanted a quick simple sneaker that i could just throw on and then my top is from zara it's like a cute little lightweight long sleeve top and the thing about this shirt you guys is it's one of those tops that's a little bit too long to tuck into your pants but it's not cropped enough to be a crop top so my secret is to tie it in a knot if you have tops like that, don't not wear it. Just not the thing. That's what I always do. So that's my little hack. And obviously, cute sets just make it look like you put time and effort into your look. And accessories. If you want to look like you actually got dressed for the day, pop in some cute earrings. I am rocking these bad boys from Anna Luisa. But I definitely wanted to wear these cute little hoops since I'm wearing my hair pushed back today. I'm actually going to head out in about an hour... Oh my gosh, yes, an hour. Where has this day gone to go get a chemical peel? I have a little friend on my face right now, and I want to be nice and refreshed for the holidays. So five days of downtime is totally worth it for me. As you guys know, I've been getting chemical peels for the past year and a half now. So this should be my seventh or eighth one on my skincare journey. So I want it to look kind of cute. For my appointment since when i come out of my appointment i am looking crazy in the face so yeah that's my little outfit for today and i'm not sure if i'm gonna see you later on tonight only because i'm gonna be looking 
like a hot mess, a tomato in the face. As you guys have seen from my previous Chemical Peel Skin Journey vlogs. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my little outfit of the day for an errand run. Might stop by the grocery store on the way home from my appointment, but I just love these earrings so much. I had to show you guys my fit for the day. Yes. Okay, abs poking through a little bit. Not mad at that. What it do, baby? Oh my gosh, I'm out here looking like a tomato. I got my chemical peel on Monday, and I'm definitely starting to peel a little bit, and I have an extreme, like, sunburn look. 